Josh and I have been fighting this afternoon. They don't have bus tickets and they don't take cash. Your serving looks maybe just a little less not left in, right? Please <sighs> put the vlog away. Good morning, we made it to Paris. So let me start out by saying that this is our view. Just casually me with the Eiffel Tower in the back. Anyway, we thought that we had like full percentage, 100% chance of rain this weekend, but it turns out that it's actually really nice out this morning. And I have to find some stuff in my suitcase. I did not really pack for this weather and it's like 60s, which is really cold to me. And then we're going to Cafe de Flore, which if you follow me on Instagram, is where I have the thing hanging over my coffee corner in my house. So I'm very, very excited to go to that. We are dressed and ready to go. We came out to the bus stop that would take us to Cafe de Flore and then realized we don't have bus tickets and they don't take cash. So now we just called an Uber. Luckily it's seven euro, so it's not too bad, but we do need to figure out how to get bus tickets because we are not about to be Ubering around everywhere in the city because that adds up very quickly. unmatched of any other restaurant I've ever been to. They have four different floors and your best bet is to try to sit on the top floor but you can't specifically reserve that so we are hoping that we get the top floor. You have to have reservations here. I booked these maybe two weeks ago. We just finished up lunch and we were going to do something a little bit on the lighter side because we had kind of just come for breakfast and Josh decided to order the insert picture here. And I don't think we even finished half of it. And we also ordered pasta and we also ordered drinks. All of that to say we can have this. being there for almost two hours so it was a very long lunch and now we are walking to our bus stop and we're gonna head back to the Airbnb for a little while we got so much food and they don't usually do to-go boxes so he wrapped it up in a pizza box with saran wrap so that was really sweet oh my gosh out of breath vlogging and walking is hard we have dinner reservations tonight at 7 and we're gonna walk around the Eiffel Tower take some pictures and redo a picture that we took two years ago. That's very iconic to us. So we came back, laid down for a little bit, and now Josh wants to go on a walk beside the river. I'm very cold and there's no full body mirror in here. So I just probably shouldn't stand on that. But I'm wearing my sweat set that I've already worn 400,000 times on this trip and Josh's uh, tan corduroy jacket. Basically, my whole Paris expedition is sponsored by Josh because he actually prepared for this, whereas my thought was an island off the coast of Italy. Well, I don't really know if this goes. Well, I think it does. It's just a sweat set with this on top. Am I serving looks left and right? Oh. <laughs> Your serving looks maybe just to the left, not left and right. Dang. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. I like how you vlog. Oh my gosh, this won't shut. I'm new to the vlogging thing and I'm like, how do you show your personality on camera? Because my initial thought when I'm crying or stressed out or Josh and I are in a fight is not 
let me whip out my vlog camera and capture this moment. You normally think, oh, I feel very pretty and this is a highlight, so let me capture that. I feel like vlogging, uh, social media in general, like people want to not see the highlight reels, but it's like, how on earth? Josh and I have been fighting this afternoon, but all, it always starts as a joke, but <laughs> then I guess I take it too far. Anyway, time to grab my massive purse that I carry everywhere, my umbrella, because I'm mommy. I can't even put this on my shoulder. <sighs> so time for a walk and then we're gonna come back and get ready for our dinner tonight. Hopefully we'll be hungry for it. Hopefully, yeah, we'll be hungry for it after our family feast for four of a whole Thanksgiving dinner that Josh ordered for lunch. Why are these art pieces like, okay, this one, not very scary, just abstract. This one. What? Spooky that's season. scarier than this one. This gives me like abstract art. This gives me it's October spooky season. Gotta go. They clean these mirrors really well though. Cause they have me wanting to take mirror selfies in them. Anyway, gotta go. Gotta go on a walk cause that's what Josh wants to do. <laughs> Isn't it bad luck to an open um umbrella in the house? All right, well. That, this thing is gonna break <laughs> if there's any. Wait, why is it so tiny? Oh, very proper, very cute. Let's hope there's no wind. <laughs> yep. There's definitely some there wind. There probably will be no wind. But yeah. he's doing great. Great, so. so Josh wanted to go on a walk because he wanted to find our lock that we had left here and they literally removed so many and ours is still left. Well, that's freaking cute. Two years later. Love us. This isn't going great and if you are a girl, then you understand how you don't like to wash your hair frequently so I don't want to get my hair, which is nice and curled, wet before we go to dinner tonight, so. Dang. Yeah, that's that. We took the wrong road. Well, I can't vlog and look at directions at the same time. Well, when I was walking and vlogging and having a hard time, you thought that that was silly. When you were vlogging and out of breath, I thought that was silly. <sighs> Jeez, put the vlog away. All right, we are running a little late to dinner, which is at seven. We're running perfectly on time to dinner, which is at 7 p.m. We're going to a place called Le Recruitment, uh, I think it, cafe. And it's really cute, and you can see the Eiffel Tower from some of the seats where you're sitting, so I'm very excited. but it's like anytime I'm even in the vicinity of the Eiffel Tower, I just wanna stare at it. It's just very cool. I'm not updating now. I'm updating in the room. This is ridiculous. But we will see you in the room and we're having a windy walk back. And honestly, super cute, but I cannot vlog right now. Hello vlog, it's the next morning and we are getting ready to leave super late. We had dinner last night, it was amazing. I, we literally have been to France before and came to Paris and never really tried all of the French cuisine. So it was like we got to have K-I-R Royale, Kir Royale. Royal. We tried that last night, it was so good and now I'm definitely ordering another one tonight. And then we tried snails, so we tried escargot, French onion soup, veal in like this cream soup sauce, a chicken risotto, and another yummy sauce. I posted about it on my Instagram story. A full grown shrimp, the best olives ever. Yeah, so basically we really, really enjoyed dinner and the restaurant, I will put it right here on the screen. But if you sit outside at the cafe, you literally can see the Eiffel Tower and it is so pretty. We were out late last night watching the Eiffel Tower, which you saw a few clips of. It was so windy, so rainy, but we had a lot of fun. We have not eaten breakfast yet, so we're both pretty hangry. 
But our fits today are kind of fun, so where's the best place to do a fit check? So I have these colorful Natalie pants and one of my favorite things to do for the fall is to have patterned pants with just like casual crew neck. But I felt like I would be pretty cold just having that. So I stole from Josh yet again from Abercrombie. Okay. Josh got new jeans and these light wash ones, they actually are real denim. So if you're searching for your husband's or your boyfriend's or whatever, Abercrombie has really good jeans that aren't skin tight because I don't like the skin tight look. Yeah, maybe we can get a cute little couple picture because I just feel like our outfits go well together. We are inside of the Rodin Museum and actually sitting next to the thinker statue, so that is pretty cool. We just came from a cafe that we had lunch at, and on the first Sunday of the month from October through March, it is actually free to get into most of the museums. So we had free admission today. Welcome to our last Airbnb tour. Immediately when you walk in, you have the closet here, some storage, and a little desk area. It's a smaller studio, so you have a kitchenette and a little cabinet space area. We have all of our stuff and luggage right there, a table, and then this is the couch and the bed, so it pulls out to be a sofa and you have a little mirror back here. On the right, we have the bathroom. Again, more storage, a nice mirror in here, and then just the shower. That's pretty much the gist of the inside of it, so very small, but the reason that we booked this place was this balcony. Immediately when you come out here and you look to the right, it is such a beautiful view of the Eiffel Tower. down these streets. It's so pretty too. Josh and I are at a sunset spot, so we are in Montmartre. A restaurant that we really love is here, and we're gonna have dinner there. Uh, that is called La Mer Catherine, and Josh had the bright idea that we should watch sunset before because it's actually turned out to be a very nice day today. So I'll show like you. the highest point, I think. Yeah, so it's, it's a really great place to watch the sunset. So I will give you what our view looks like, and hopefully we get to watch a really pretty sunset here. finished up with dinner and we went down to the Eiffel Tower. We took the metro, grabbed a crate, and then took some photos with the Eiffel Tower while it was sparkling. So they turned out really cute and I will put some here. And if you're following on Instagram, I've probably already posted them. But we are so excited because that's one of our favorite things obviously about Paris. So now we take the tripod and time to hike back home. It is our last day in Europe. We leave Paris today, we're going back home, and it's bittersweet. I feel like this has been the best trip ever. I've had so much fun, but also I miss not living out of a suitcase, not packing every couple of days, being in my own bed and all of that, so. And it's always weird when you accomplish a goal and then it's over and you're like, all right, that was amazing, but now what's like the next thing, so. I don't want to live like that and I just want to be excited to go back. I finished packing and Josh is still working on it. I'm taking the trash out. He's taking the trash out. One of my favorite things and what I'm gonna miss about Europe is every cafe has all of this beautiful outdoor seating where you just get to sit at these little tables and have your little chairs and I don't know, I just love the eating culture here. It's very slow paced and you just enjoy everything and I love that. I've got the biggest coffee I've gotten since I've been here. Typically the coffees are very small but at this one I noticed they had an almond milk latte so I decided to get that and it's huge. We are officially all packed up, our stuff is ready to go, and we're working on the checkout details for the Airbnb. This is the end of the Europe vlog series. It has been so much fun, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed everything this trip.